brutal heat has made the seas off South Florida feel like a hot tub. Water temperatures in the Keys have topped 100 degrees. Local 10's Leanne Morajon is live in Key Largo to tell us why this is so troubling. Leanne. And while that triple digit temperature sure is eye popping, the experts and researchers I spoke to said there is an elevation of temperatures throughout the Florida Keys. They say it's no telling how much more damage these sustained high temperatures could cause. We're seeing extraordinarily high temperatures that are way outside of the range where most corals can survive. Water temperature in the Florida Keys is soaring into the upper 90s on the brink of an ocean heat wave emergency. A biologically important benchmark for animals, sponges and corals is usually as low as about 95 degrees. And those temperatures are very common in the Keys right now. Over the weekend, a disturbing number, a buoy in Manatee Bay measuring water temperature at 101 degrees. We're talking hot tub hot. Manatee Bay is an area that's somewhat isolated, very shallow, and there's limited circulation. The high temperatures causing a drop in oxygen and bleached corals in the water. You can get really high rates of coral death when they're in that condition because they're very, very fragile. Bleaching is something that periodically happens in August and September, sort of at the end of summer when the ocean has absorbed a lot of temperatures. To see it in July is really early and really scares us for what might now happen in August and September. Coral reefs are a vital natural barrier against storms and home to countless marine species. 25% of all marine life depend on the reef to survive. Water that's this hot simply doesn't hold enough oxygen for some things to live and breathe. This is not a problem for the future. Right now we are losing corals and, and we predict that we are going to lose more corals. So these researchers are bracing themselves for what's to come in the next couple of months. I spoke by phone to another expert from the Rosenseal School over at UM who says that these rainy days, days like today, could go very far in helping to cool things down. Reporting live in Key Largo, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. It is